Introducing the new LED Pixel controller from Crazy Amazing Designs. Connect this board to your LED strip or Christmas string lights along with power and Wi-Fi. Then use the device's web page to configure LED pixel count or just change the color. Enable ArtNet mode to send signals from your lighting software or controller to control each pixel individually. I built this board for live production to control your LEDs over ArtNet. If you are limited on DMX channels, then from the web page you can group pixels together to reduce the number of required control channels. If this sounds like something you want to purchase for your space, then check out the product page at crazyamazingdesigns.com, link in the description. I am super excited to roll out this new board, and since we are in the Christmas season, the first iteration of it is for controlling LED pixels for Christmas trees. Each product purchase is intended as a complete package to control one tree. So let's talk about the hardware that I'm introducing with this kit. The base kit includes the power supply with a power cable, the LED pixel controller board. This controls 800 LEDs, a short power cable for the controller, and a second power cable for introducing voltage after the first 150 LEDs. Because the wire on the LEDs themselves is so small, we need to introduce fresh voltage after so many LEDs. Once you've wrapped your tree with the LED strings, depending on how many strings of LEDs you need for a specific tree, you're gonna want to add the connectors after three strings or 150 LED pixels, then connect the correct length power cable and drop it down the center of the tree. That way later you can easily connect all of the dropped cables to the power supply. Now every LED will have plenty of voltage and be super happy. If you're working with a larger tree, good news, each power supply can safely power up to 16 strands of LEDs or 800 total LEDs across the two XT60 ports. This means you will need to use splitters to get the additional connectors at the power supply. I created this tree pixel calculator that you can find on the product page at crazyamazingdesigns.com. Give it the tree height and diameter at the base, then it shows you exactly how many LED strings your specific tree will need, how many power injection points you will need, and what adapters you need to power them. Connect the adapters and run the cables down the trunk of the tree to the power supply. The calculator suggests these add-ons and the wire length you'll need based on your tree size, as well as how many ports you're going to need at the power supply. These 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 XT60 adapters are great for letting you connect the power supply to each of the tree's injection points. Now let's connect the controller PCB to Wi-Fi. These ESP32 boards can only connect to 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. Connect the board via the included USB-C cable to a computer running the Google Chrome browser. For this initial setup, I've created a solution that I think is both simple and eloquent. This will only need done the first time you use the board to set the Wi-Fi information. I recommend purchasing a Wi-Fi router for this system and connecting the boards to that same SSID all the time. Now go to config.crazyamazingdesigns.com and select connect board. Here you can set the Wi-Fi SSID, password, IP address, gateway, and subnet information. When finished, push save network settings to board. Push OK, and once complete, this board will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. If it says can't connect to 5G network, then you need to reevaluate your Wi-Fi. Now that the board is connected to the Wi-Fi, connect to the board using the configured IP address. In the future, if you need to change the SSID or IP address information, you can do that from the device IP address over the network. The USB method exists as a fail safe to make sure we always have access to the device if you leave access to that network. From the web page, you can manually change the color of the connected LED pixels. From the mode drop down, select the color picker and hit save. Then select the color picker and save the chosen color. This is a super convenient feature when you just want to select a color and not have to worry about a bunch of stuff. It's also a great troubleshooting tool if you want to make sure that you have control over the pixels. I built this system for live production environments, so it was built to run by receiving ArtNet. The web page allows you to define the subnet, universe, and start channels that the PCB listens to. In ArtNet zones mode, you can break all defined pixels into zones. Each zone then receives three channels of ArtNet starting at the first defined channel. It's really important to define the pixel number to make sure the zones feature works correctly. What I have done here is design a system that controls 800 LED pixels wrapped around a Christmas tree. 
controlled via ArtNet, which is digital DMX fed over the network from a professional lighting software or controller. This controller is not limited to Christmas lights. I designed it to be the controller for our quick disconnect LED stick system. Here is the base that we designed the PCB to fit into with pins to quick disconnect the LED sticks together. In the same theme as controlling LED pixels, this board can also control WS2815 LED strip, which uses a four pin quick disconnect connector. Using my three to four pin converter, you can use the same controller board and power supply to control 800 WS2815 LED strip pixels. Using this as a tree controller is phase one, and it works great for that. So please subscribe to see future videos on this topic. There is so much more to come. Check out the shop on crazyamazingdesigns.com to order these LED tree controllers. See you in the next video.